Hi, this is Jim Bergman with the iManifold Group. Uh, every once in a while we get a call about how to check the calibration of an iManifold. And I want to walk you through a real simple procedure on how to do that in the field. So the first thing that we did here is we got a rooftop unit, we got our gauge set hooked up, and this has been stable. It's actually sat overnight. Uh, you could also do this with a version tank of refrigerant, but because we had this hooked up in the lab, I thought it'd be a, a good place to show you. So it's also a great way to test for non-condensables in the system once we know our, our temperatures are all correct. So the first thing you want to do is have your eye manifold hooked up. And I've got all my probes hooked up to some sensors. I got my valves opened up so that we're equalizing the pressure on both sides of the system. This down here is a hard shut off TXV and a hard shut off TXV will not equalize all by itself once the pressure gets close. The TXV closes all the way and so the pressure won't equalize because there's a, a, uh, a discharge valve on the compressor that won't allow the gas to flow backwards. So I've got that hooked up. Uh, this all hooked up and I'm going to go ahead and start the system up and two things are starting the condenser fan and the blower you can see right here that I have my compressor disconnected so we're not running the actual refrigeration system so we're going to let this thing run for just a minute we're pulling air across our outdoor sensors and across our coil and then what we're doing is letting ambient air sort of uh, run over everything so we can get it down to temperature and then we can start to verify calibration so if you look right now on our application here, you can see that our saturation temperature is 69 and 68.1, or 68.6, excuse me. There's about four tenths of a degree difference in saturation temperature. And you can see that we're at 68.4, 68.4, 68.7, 69.6. So our outdoor air sensor is reading a little bit higher than the rest of them, but only by a couple tenths of a degree, maybe a degree at most. So very quickly here we can see that we have everything uh, is, is agreeing and that the, the total system is accurate. It's a very easy way to do this in the field. And because the gas is saturated, we have no superheat, we have almost no subcooling, so this is what we would expect to see. So very easy way to, to test that. Now also available is what's called the NIST prover. And if you zoom in here a little bit so we can see this, this one here is, is, uh, is a NIST uh, version of it, which means it's traceable back to um, National Institute of Standards and Testing. And what we can do with this is we can take out, in this case, our outdoor air sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out, set that aside over here. I'm just going to plug the NIST prover in to the back of the instrument. And now if you have this turned to negative 10 here, then we should see negative 10 there. So you can see that we're within a tenth of a degree there. We turn it to 32 degrees. You'll see that we're 32 degrees. Turn it to 72 degrees, and we're at 72 degrees. And then we'll test it again at 140 degrees, and we're at 140 degrees. So this allows you to test every one of the thermocouple jacks or the ports to make sure that each one of those is reading accurately, and we can test all the temperature ports we have on all this, all the system with a single NIST prover. So it's a very easy way to do an in-field verification. It's really a really fairly inexpensive way to do that and allow you to be with a high confidence that your measurements are always good with the iManifold. So it's Jim Bergman with Imperial Tools and iManifold Group. Thanks a lot for watching.